Good afternoon. Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I'm Kathy Grandstaff and we are located in Central Ohio. We specialize in schnauzers and schnoodles. Today is the 10th of April and if you are not um, or if you are not used to viewing our website or have not found us before, I guess this way I want to put that. If you hit the subscribe button below, it will notify you every time we post a video. Videos are usually posted between Monday and Friday. Saturdays, if we don't have them on Saturday, there's something going on. But um, these guys, uh, we're down here today with, uh, these are toy schnauzers, and these are Nikki's litter. Or these are from Nikki's litter. Um, we just put photos of them on this morning that I took uh, today. So there's new pictures on. And... Um, so we are at three weeks and three days old. So they're about 24 days old, if you want to do it that way. And um, they're doing really good. They're really, really doing good. So we're going to go through, we'll give you microchip numbers. Um, I'm probably going to, I love giving them tiny, tiny schnauzer, uh, schnauzer haircuts. So I'm usually tempted by the time they hit five weeks to give them a haircut. So if something is sold by that point, which... It should be. Um, I will check with the person that buys it before I cut the hair. And um, so let's get started. I guess we'll start this way and go that way. Um, we'll start with the biggest and end up with the smallest. So these guys projected go home date right now is 512 is when their eight week birthday is. And I know he will be able to go home uh, with no problem by that point. The smaller they get, the longer I keep them. So uh, the little tiny Merle and the chocolate may be here an extra week or 10 days. Um, I think the two bigger blue Merles are fine to go uh, starting when they're eight weeks old. But the little tiny guys will probably be here a little longer. So the this is the black male and he's really cute. Um, his picture turned out really good today on the internet. He's got white feet on the front little tips on that, a little bit more on this one. And then the back feet has little tiny white tips on the back feet. But he's nice and solid. He's got really nice thick coat. This will make a really, really nice soft coat when he's older. Uh, I do not have wiry coated schnauzers. I've had people ask me that. Um, there's a difference in schnauzers. Some schnauzers have a curl gene and some do not. The curl gene gives them a totally different texture to their coat. It's softer. Um, it's more lush, it's thicker, we call it a mega coat, um, but they just have phenomenal coats, which it's the kind of coat you want to sit down at night, just run your fingers through, it feels so nice. All right, so his microchip number is 2196, and he is 1 pound 9.6 ounces today. All right, Munchkin, down you go. This is the little chocolate female. She's like, oh, are we doing something again? This one is a phantom. So uh, phantom means she's gonna have brown up her legs. She'll have brown eyebrows. They're just starting to come in. She's gonna have brown inside her ears. And if she'll hold still for me, you can see the little bit of brown starting up her back legs. Let me give you her microchip number. Her chip is 2190. And she's got really pretty coat, nice thick coat, starting to get a little bit of wave to it. All right, are you ready? On oh, side, this is the male, not a female. This is a male, forgot. These are both males. Usually I don't put the males right together and I never thought about where I laid them today, but this is a male. And he is 15.8 ounces. Okay, up here, you got it. all got to go where you want to go. So this is a blue Merle female. You guys gotta stay where I don't have to worry about you going off the table. 2124 is her microchip. Eyes are open on everybody. Uh, she is a fat little thing. Nice coat, just really nice and thick. I know, are you having a fit? I know, you're just having a fit. <laughs> All right, let's see what she weighs. She is one pound 5.4. Okay, Munchkin, let me sit, slide you right in here. <coughs> 
This is the blue merle female with the white, big white feet. She's a little smaller than the other female. 2122 is her microchip number. No, I don't want everybody coming in my direction. Um, she's got lots of really nice black patches on that blue coat. She's got white feet on the front and, okay, 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 I gotcha. A little bit of white on that toe, not just a couple hairs on the end of that one. These have really nice white tips on them. And they put me down. <laughs> she's having a fit. She's like, ah, one pound, 3.6. All right. Now, last but not least, let's do the little tiny guy, girl, I should say. This one is microchip number 2123. I can guarantee you this one's going to stay extra here. Um, as tiny as she is, I'm not going to let her go till I know she's going to be okay and she's going to eat right. And whoever does get her understands that she has to have her food in front of her 24 hours a day or you're going to have a hypoglycemic puppy. So the ones this little, these are not kid puppies at all. Um, this is the type of puppy that if the kids run through the house and kick it, it's dead. Or if it falls off the couch, or there's lots of things. I've had one in Florida, actually owned by a veterinarian that crawled behind the refrigerator and was electrocuted. So these can get into lots of issues when they're this tiny. She is 12.8 ounces as of today. All right. So, and I suppose I should turn around. She's got both black ears, really nice coloring on her back. And this foot has a pretty much an all black tip to it. And other than that, that's about it to tell you. Uh, they're all doing really good and there are no issues at all with them. Um, so if you have any questions about these guys, I know there is a waiting list on this litter. So, um, I called everybody today and or text them, I guess, to tell everybody that the, the uh, new pictures were on. So this way you'll see the video when it comes on uh, this afternoon. And hopefully we will hear from everybody this week and get the pics over with on this litter. So have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed their video and uh, we'll talk to you later.